Today we'll begin talking about the elements of the S block in chapter 4 in chemistry. So uh, we will begin with group 1A in the periodic table. This is the general shape of the periodic table. Um, here we have the inert gases at the right end of the periodic table. And then we have here the S block. This, uh, this is the block which contains the elements that end was that S orbital. So uh, we have group uh, 1A here, group 1A and group 2A. Here the two represents the number of electrons. So here it ends with an S orbital that contains one electron and here contains an uh, ends with an S orbital that contains two electrons. So here a full S orbital, here a half full S orbital. Uh, the elements of group 1A are as follows. We have lithium, sodium, potassium, rubidium, cesium, and finally francium. Uh, those elements are collectively called the alkali earth metals. The alkali earth metals and the word alkali is an originally an Arabic word for alkyl, alkyl to um, describe the alkalides. So uh, they are called the alkali earth metals. Okay. Here is an easy way to understand or to predict the electronic configuration or the number of electrons of these elements respectively. So if we look at the periodic table, first of all we have the hydrogen element with one electron, then we go to helium with two electrons. Okay. Then we have lithium. Lithium is the element just next to helium. So basically it will have three electrons. And so as sodium. Sodium is the next one after neon. So neon has 10 electrons, then sodium will have 11. Argon has 18 electrons. So accordingly potassium will have 19. And so on. Krypton 36, then rubidium is 37. Xenon is 54, then cesium is 55. And finally, rhodium is 86, then francium is 87. And so on. So, um, as simple as it is, when we try to write the electronic configuration of these elements, what we do is, we say, for example, lithium 3 is, and between squared brackets, helium, then um, 1s or 2s1, 2s1. This means that lithium consists of the same electronic configuration as helium, which is 1, S2, then it has a 2s1. Sodium, because this is the first orbital, then we go to the second orbital, of course. Let's see sodium. Sodium is the same as neon, but we add an extra electron. So, uh, sodium 11 is neon. And here we have a 3s1, a 3s1, because neon has 10 electrons, so we have uh, the first orbital that contains only an s orbital, of course completely filled, then we have a 2s2 and a 2p6. This gives us a total of 6 plus 2 plus 2, this is a 10. Then we go to the third orbital of 3s1, and so on. So basically, you just plug in the the inner gas that 
comes just pre uh, just behind the element that you want to write the electronic configuration for, and then you type the um, orbital by adding up one. So here we have two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we notice that this is the number of the period in the periodic table. And add an S1, because this is group 1A, and in the S block, so of course it ends with an S orbital that carries only just one element. So this is it for today. The next time we will talk about the abundance of these elements in nature. Until then, I thank you for watching and see you.